What do we really know about Orlando? Come along with us and discover some of the hidden treasures of one of the world's most favorite towns. thought about is Walt Disney World in Orlando? Well, guess what? It really isn't. It's close to Orlando, but then again, have you thought about is Windermere Orlando? All these confusing questions. Well, today, my dream team, they're going to give you all the answers. We're going to pick four of our favorite communities around Cinderella's Castle. I can't wait for them to show you around. Hey, it's Elijah with Florida in Motion Realty, and Kim Hawk, YouTube's fairy godmother of real estate, calls me the Prince on her Realtor Dream Team. But don't get it twisted. We're a much better dynamic duo than Prince Charming and uh, Fairy Godmother from Shrek 2. <laughs> We're the good guys. We're going to bring you the best of what's available on the housing market and within a 25-mile radius of Cinderella's Castle. Speaking of, quick trivia. Did you know that Celebration Florida was actually built by Disney and that Walt Disney himself was the original visionary for the town? I live here and can't wait to introduce you. Welcome to Celebration Florida. This is the town that Walt Disney World built. Back in 1996, the first residents moved here and what you're gonna see here shortly are restaurants, retail, there's a post office, and there's great design here from architects. So as we take you on this journey, you're gonna learn a lot of great tidbits about this great town of Celebration Florida. And in the town center of Celebration Florida, there's a lovely lake. This is where people will be able to enjoy an ice cream cone as they sit on a rocking chair. Look at the beautiful views. And you know not too far from here, you could see your children playing in the popping fountain, uh, which is absolutely beautiful during the summer months to cool you off. The views here are just spectacular. It looks like a painting. So Celebration Florida was intended initially to be Epcot Center. But the most exciting, the far, the most important part of our Florida project. In fact, the heart of everything we'll be doing in Disney World will be our experimental prototype city of tomorrow. We call it Epcot, spelled E-P-C-O-T, experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Epcot's Green Belt is more than just a broad expanse of beautiful lawns and walks and trees. Here, too, are the community's varied recreational facilities, its playgrounds for children, its churches, and its schools. Well, that never happened before Walt Disney passed away. So there's this genius man by the name of Michael Eisner who was in charge of Disney, and he said, what are the things that Walt wanted to happen that didn't occur? And one of the ideas was the Epcot portion of people being able to live and be and have their jobs at Epcot. Well, instead of it being at Epcot, it's here at Celebration Florida. And you'll see behind me, he was very specific about his architects. So he picked someone by the name of Robert Stern to design downtown Celebration. What a marvel that we have. He picked five amazing architects. But just realize, this town was actually envisioned by Walt Disney himself. And before the first people moved into Celebration in 1996, they had a lottery. There were over 5,000 people that showed up for the first 350 homes. Can you imagine 5,000 people trying to get into this amazing town? But with Disney, the magic always happens, and it's in big demand. Very much like you see in the Magic Kingdom, there's something called forced perspective. If you walk down the main street in the Magic Kingdom, you'll see that the first floor of the building is taller than the second floor. The second floor is taller than the third floor. And what happens is that your eye plays a trick on you. You believe that the buildings are taller than they are. Well, right here in Celebration Florida, that's what's happening with the downtown lake. The engineers, decided to expand the lake to the left and to the right, and so you just feel like it's much larger than it is. Pretty brilliant, huh? Hi, 
everyone, I'm Virginia Carlson, or Cinderella as Kim likes to call me on her Realtor Dream Team. I want to introduce you to Winter Garden and the Horizon West area of Orlando. This charming and stylish area of Central Florida has several new family subdivisions and has been growing in popularity over the years to make it one of the hottest in real estate and most beloved places to call home. We are in Winter Garden today. As we were driving through town, we saw stuff that you don't normally see around Central Florida. One being, we've seen a lot of golf carts. There's wonderful shops, a lot of good stuff in regard to bike paths that you can come out here and even rent a bicycle. And we can't wait to tell you more about this alive and vibrant city in Central Florida. parking garage fills very very quickly so we just drive around pick people up bring them to the market and then we'll sit here and wait for a few minutes if anybody wants to go back to their cars make it easier to buy produce nobody wants to carry a watermelon you know a mile down the road so we do that every Saturday and then as an ambassador because we work actually for the city we can we walk around help the vendors and the stores if they need any assistance if they need to go to the restroom and we can watch the store for them and just kind of give people guidance on the different things going on so how many of you know that when winter garden first started it wasn't really made of brick buildings but there was a big fire and now you have these gorgeous gorgeous brick buildings in order to protect that so that we can all come out and enjoy all the beauty of winter garden check out this beautiful winter garden water tower as well we are here in front of the winter garden community theater and did you know this theater was the first one in Central Florida that had talkies, and it was built in 1935. So check it out. We've got some footage for you. We are standing in front of the famous Edgewater Hotel. This hotel is from 1927 and it's got a lot of cool historic things that have occurred here. Errol Flynn stayed here. Humphrey Bogart stayed here. During World War II, a lot of the soldiers were housed here. And guess what? When they were building the Magic Kingdom, a lot of the workers stayed in this hotel right behind us. So make sure you check out this historic place, Edgewater, which is on Plant Street in Winter Garden, Florida. We are looking at a bunch of people that are parking their bikes right here in Winter Garden because you know what? There's 34 miles on the West Orange Trail and what better way to take a little bit of a break and maybe visit Urban Flats, have a coffee, even go to a French restaurant. This is where it's happening. You're not going to find a place like this just anywhere in Central Florida. The Attic Door great couches, guitars, live music. This is my kind of place, I don't know about you, but look at all the fun furniture. You can look at the cool fabric. So make sure you get a chance. It even says relax, dream, enjoy, relax, dream, enjoy. Say that a couple of times and you're gonna find a lot of joy right here in Winter Garden. You ever want to live by the rich and famous? Don't worry, they don't all live in Hollywood. Many big timers enjoy the luxury lifestyle of Windermere, Florida, city of the lakes. Come on, let's have a look. Windermere has a small historic downtown area that features the historic town hall. Several boutique shops and restaurants are in the quiet downtown. Very few tourists travel through Windermere, and the residents like it that way. 
Well, if you haven't discovered Windermere, Florida, you have completely skipped a gem that's within the 25-mile radius of Cinderella's Castle. Celebrities have found it, high-end executives have found it, my goddaughter lives here, and my best friend. And I can tell you, there's a reason why you have the most incredible pieces of property that are available with the winding roads and the lakes that we talked about, as well as large lots. You're not going to find lots that are as large as what we're finding here. So they call this the town among the lakes, and it's an obvious reason. The Butler Chain of Lakes features 13 different lakes that are connected by canals. And what you'll find is this is really a boater's paradise, and the reason people really came to this area was because of the lakes. So if you are in Windermere and you get a chance, make sure that you go out and see the beautiful lakes, and we're gonna take a look at some of the beautiful homes on Lake Butler and throughout the Butler Chain of Lakes. And I am sitting here with my beloved Chelsea. She is my goddaughter, and her mother is my best friend, and she was also our uh, maid of honor in our wedding. So talk to me a little bit about Windermere Schools. We moved here when I went into second grade. I ended up going to Windermere Elementary, and then after that, go to middle school and then Olympia High School. Um, so spent spent my schooling here in the Windermere area, and they have some absolutely fantastic schools. It is a great place to come if you're looking for some awesome schools. And I would imagine when Disney was building the Magic Kingdom and they had all these executives that were flying in from every place in the world to create it, Schools were obviously very important for their families, and so the Disney execs drove right outside of the Magic Kingdom and found this gorgeous land. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons I think you have so many amazing yes. schools. And so Windermere, Florida really is the place to be able to bring your families in. One of my fondest memories of being out here is, is getting to be out here every weekend on a boat, um, hanging out with family. That's definitely one of the major perks of being out here is getting to be among this beautiful scenery. Across the way here is actually a place called Bird Island. It is a protected sanctuary area here in Windermere, but it is also the hangout spot for so many families on the weekends, especially during the summer. Uh, everybody lines their boats up around the front of the island and everybody just hangs out and has a great, great time. If you get the chance to come out and check it out and spend a day on the lake, I highly, highly recommend that you do. So to sum up Windermere, Florida, it's really about going to a whole different level. You can be out on this gorgeous, gorgeous lake, 13 lakes that are connected. You can enjoy wonderful art studio. You can go to the wine market you will be able to explore Florida's best. Hi, I'm Taylor Owens, and Kim Hawk calls me Belle as I'm a part of her Realtor Dream Team. Did you know that per U-Haul, more people are moving to the Kissimmee, Florida area than any other town in the United States? Let's check it out. There's so much going on here. There's so much land that we can build on. It's a great place to move. Osceola County, it is huge. It's 2,010 square miles. Now to give you an idea how big that is, because as you're walking through Osceola County, Walt Disney World is 43 square miles, and that is the same size as San Francisco. So if you're looking at 2,010 square miles, you're looking at pretty much the size of a state. So welcome to Kissimmee. So I'm happy to report we're right in the area that we can talk about Hamilton Diston and what a huge difference he made. His family owned the Diston Saw Company in Philadelphia. So what he did was he bought four million acres. Four million acres, he paid a million dollars back then and it was January of 1881 
that he started to drain the area and deepen the Kissimmee River so that products could be shipped into the Gulf of Mexico and points beyond. So many steamship captains navigated the chain of lakes leading from Kissimmee to the Gulf with cargoes of cypress lumber and sugarcane. So thank you to uh, Hamilton for purchasing this land and creating an environment so that all of us can enjoy the beauty of Florida. So the Osceola County Arts is strongly encouraging beautiful murals like we see here. So another stop here out in Kissimmee is out at Osceola Heritage Park and we are out in front of the Silver Spurs Rodeo. There are tons of events that happen out here in this complex. Out here at Silver Spurs they do anything from concerts to the rodeo to the fair which you can see behind us and uh, Mecham Auto Auction was actually just here as well. A little over this way there is a huge baseball complex where a lot of uh, Major League Baseball teams have come for spring training and there's also Orlando City Soccer has a training facility out here. As as well. This is a great place to come for some family events along with a whole other array of events. So now we're driving into a new construction area in Kissimmee. When you have the opportunity, please look at the possibility of buying a property in Kissimmee so that even if you don't want to use it for a couple of years, you can talk to my sales team and we'll help you get it rented out. And then you will have your place in the sun for when you're ready to move to Central Florida. Kissimmee is a true gem and this may be the opportunity, the once in a life opportunity now. So what a fun day that we've had in Kissimmee, and believe me, what a variety. It's been known for the longest time as being agriculture or tourism, but we're standing here today in Neo City. Have you heard about it? It is the first city in the United States they're talking about that will be the first smart city that has started from ground up. And what do we have right behind us? One of the first priorities was to get our youth involved and it's called Neo City Academy. So for those young people that want to be going to high school and learning more high tech, there's 550 students that are already here on this property. And what they're talking about is this smart city is going to have restaurants and entertainment, people that will be able to live in this area. So for those of you that are interested in technology in particular, please make sure you reach out to my real estate team because we're in the know in regard to what's going on at Neo City. So as we end our day in Kissimmee and we're in one of the beautiful murals, we just wanted to remind everybody, please make sure you subscribe, like, hit the button, do what you got to do, but please make sure you stay in touch with Near Disney because we have content that's coming to you on a weekly basis. We're happy to do it. Please keep in touch. And if you ever have a need for a realtor, please be sure that you give us a call at 407-808-9845. And the Fairy Godmother of Real Estate will make sure that she connects you with somebody that's going to help you make your dreams come true.